Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing something a little different. So if you saw my most recent videos, I mentioned that I cleared my SD card and deleted files. And what I didn't realize is that I deleted clips of my planner haul as well. So this video will be a planner haul slash chat. I still wanna share what I've purchased recently for planner stuff, but because it's not a true unboxing and they're already in my planners, I figured I would just share how I'm using them as well in this video. So give you all also like a little update. So let's start with um, a few orders from the planner spot and then an order from Paper Panda that I actually purchased in store. So I share this on Instagram, my California vlog, but still wanna share because I love them so much. So when I was at, in California, Recently, I went to Paper Panda because I was in Orange County and I just like had to stop by because she is one of my favorite planner shops. She's also incredible. I met her at the EC event. And so I purchased a few things. So I purchased this um, circle sticky note, the cotton mini drops, the linen um, tiny drops, and then a few sticky notes from the planners or from papery planning because she sells papery planning in her store so i purchased the note to self meeting to do and then a circle sticky note that i can't find and again of course this always happens whenever there's an issue <laughs> with filming but um, purchase these as you know I'm an affiliate with papery planning so I was actually really happy to try like see these in person and try these out right now I just primarily use the stickers but I'm definitely gonna be getting the sticky notes because I love them and I love these size especially for a5 planners because they fit everywhere so these are absolutely perfect so we have those and then I'm actually just taking these with me in my little Chanel pouch this is like my little pen and planner pouch um, I just love them so much and they're so compact that you can put them in anything and then take them with you. So we have that. As for planner haul as well, I have my subscription kit from the planner spot and right now I have it in my hourly. I am using these um, dashboards from Erin Condren for the life planners. These came in or came out with launch and I got these in the PR package and I absolutely love them. If you saw the setup video for my hourly, um, I'm using it to segment upcoming right now. So I moved in early as per usual. So I have um, the current months. So this is this current week that I'm actually filming. And then this last one has an archive. So I transferred everything over just so it's all in one planner from like April or March to April. So this last tab is archive. Then we have um, like pre-move-in planning. And then the first tab of course is when the planner actually starts in July. So yeah, really love those, but I'm just storing my sticker kits in there so it's easier to plan. But this is the June subscription kit from the planner spot. So here is the sampler or A. And I really love this theme. I wish I had it before California because I think it would have been perfect. But we're going to the Oregon coast in July for one of my best friend's weddings. So I'm definitely gonna use it during that week. And maybe even when we go to Portland, we'll see. Um, but I just love this design and I love this green. I'm a huge fan of green. So we have B, these are the full boxes. And I love these flags so much, especially in my hourly. Here is C, so half boxes and checklists. And then we have D, so I like using these on the side um, each week to help plan. So as y'all can see, we have the little flags and then the little titles, which I just love, and then the boxes. I love her stickers so much when I use my hourly because they're very minimal, but yet they're still cute. And it's just like the right amount of decorative for me where I just absolutely love it and I can still make it functional. So we have those. And then that is the July subscription, or I'm sorry, June subscription kit. 
And I'm just gonna tuck these away in here so you can use them for June. And then we'll put that to the side. And then the last two items that I recently purchased are actually from Erin Condren. So this is what I'm most excited to share with you guys. And then this is where the planner chat comes in so I can share how I'm using it. So I purchased the a focus planner. You can't just buy the focus inserts by themselves, which I wish you could because I'm not gonna be using the agenda. I love my Louis Vuitton agendas, as you know. And so um, I just put the agenda to the side for now and I've moved um, my focus inserts in here. So I have till the end of the year just because there's enough space. And then of course I moved in early. So um, like I again do with every planner. So we have um, the focus planner cover. You have your year at a glance. You have observances a note page, and then you go into your months. So this is for May 2024, and I just um, use my paper planning day dots to um, turn this into May 2023. I'm using this as, and if you saw my budget video, I'll have it linked below if I can remember, as well as links to everything if I haven't already mentioned that. Um, I haven't had coffee today yet in filming, so bear with me. Um, but this is going to be my finance overview. I love having a calendar overview for finances, and so I like that this is in here. So while I'm traveling a lot, um, I have a quick overview of what's paid, what needs to be paid, when are things coming out, and as well as paydays. So we have that. And then the focus planner has a monthly overview. What I love is that you have um, three sections over here. So for this month, I changed it to this month, travel plans and deadlines. We have the monthly to-do list, which I take from my project planner. Um, I use my Rosie Papa Tree inserts for initial plans. So we have the quarterly overview that um, has all the travel days, off days, things like that, uh, school deadlines and dates. And then we have my monthly inserts where I initially put all plans. And so each month, if you see the um, month setup, monthly setups, I take everything out of here and put it into here. And so I was doing that with my May Paper Co. inserts and then bef before that my Infinite Lotus inserts. So it's going to be the same thing. It's the same system. It's just a different style. But I really love this breakdown because I can just segment everything and organize it a little bit differently. So we have that. And then this is really, I'm probably just going to store sticky notes on here like you see here, um, just to backfill. And then we have the focus pages. So again, using my papery planning date dots and then a variety of stickers. Um, I'm using my task card in here from Casa Vici, uh, which I love. And so I have those on the side. I think these work perfectly with this focus planner. And at first I was debating, do I want the focus planner to be my main inserts? Um, and I just realized I use a lot of sticky notes and I love using sticky notes, but I do think I'm gonna keep this as my main planner as opposed to what you'll see in this planner. And I'll go into like what I was deciding on like switching it to. But the primary reason why I love these so much is that you have the like weekly glance note section. So this has the checklist and then just a section to write things out, which is what I kind of need for the week. I just need one place where I can write things that need to be scheduled, right? So when I fill this out at the beginning of the week or throughout the week, it's things that need to just be done throughout the week. And so I don't want to put it on a specific day. I want to list it out and then I'll figure out when I'm going to do it essentially. So that's why I like having a spot for that. And so I want, I chose to keep these in here for that reason. So yeah, we have these. And then this is the focus planner. Um, I have the notes section in here as well that came with just in case I want the paper. Um, even though I have like a dedicated note section in the back, but it's fine. Um, I also just kept the contacts in here in case I want to use them. The primary reason why I'm keeping this in here is for this upcoming year or this next year. Um, so I can put dates as things pop up for 2024 and 2025, which is so crazy to think about. Um, so yeah, um, pretty much just the first half of the planner and the last half of the planner in here, and then everything else is the same. So I still have my academic section, a project section for content, and then a note section. I added these packing list inserts in here since I've been taking this with, but 
yeah, um, these are gonna be my primary like planning pages because as y'all know, this is my main agenda. So this is what's open on my desk every day. Um, these are what everything goes in. So we have that. And so that was the first order that came in. And then we have the compact vertical from Erin Condren. So I just really wanted to get these and this is what I was debating on using in my main agenda. And again, the reason why I chose not to is because um, it didn't have like a this week section. You have this blank section here, which I could use that for. And I really wish, like if it was up to me, this planner would be all lines. So we wouldn't have this calendar view here. It would just be another line section where you could have notes in a this week section. And then I would have used these as my main um, inserts for that reason, because it would be perfect. Because I prefer lines and structure, as you all know, but I also really need that this week section and I want it to be lined. I. I don't know, I just don't like blank space. I want to have structure. So for that reason, I still wanted to get these and use them because I've just had my eye on them for a bit. I think I've mentioned it in a plan with me, but um, I wanted just to order these too because they're back to a pure neutral design. So I haven't really, I've used like my neutral Erin Condren um, hourly planner because I just love that planner. That's like my go-to planner as y'all know, especially when things get busy. But for everything else, I just haven't liked the themes as much or they just weren't true neutral planners that I need a true neutral planner. Um, so now that this year they finally have that, I wanted to incorporate this in to my GM because I just love the paper, but I also just love, of course, Erin Condren. So I wanted to get these and I'm really happy to use these in my project planner because I think it makes sense since this is essentially going to be lists. This is a lot of room to work with lists, right? Like I can map out all of my filming content that y'all see here, add in reminders, deadlines, different things like that. Like I think it's going to be a great addition to this planner. And if I ever need to map more things out, then in this planner, my main planner, I have this planner to do that. So I'm still going to be using these pretty frequently, but I just love having this because it's more of that tactical planning that I typically like to have. So this is primarily an overview and then we have that tactical, but yeah. With these inserts, you can um, order them on their own and like the focus planner, so you don't have to get an agenda with it. So I just ordered the inserts. And of course you get the life planner um, pages. You have a quote page. I double-sided taped them because I don't know why. I just think there's way too many asterisks and I'm not a huge fan and I just want things to be simple in this planner. So I double-sided taped the quote, but you have your year at a glance, your 12 boxes. And then again, I double-sided taped the quote page and the note page, just per like personal preference. And that way it goes straight to the month, which I haven't decided how I'll use this. I might use this for content scheduling. We will see. And then you have your monthly overview for the life planner, um, which I think I'll break down the different sections of this planner in here. And then you have your weeks. So again, I wish this was fully lined, but I get it. And I know people like to, you know, just do things differently and use this for different ways. But if it was fully lined, this would be my main inserts that I used. But who knows, I might also try it um, out and see after using this for a bit, if I can find a way to use this as a full like list or this week session. I just don't wanna have to use like sticky notes or anything every week. And for me, like I just have to have a line to something here. So if you have any recommendations, I'd be happy to hear or however use this spot. Um, or any ideas as to like listing things out on this. So yeah, other than that, that is everything that I've purchased recently, a little planner chat, how everything is looking. I do love the way that one, these look in here um, and how these work in here, but also look in here. I don't know why, because the tabs are slightly different, but I think this also, these inserts just make more sense in this planner 
because I have, of course I can move the financial overview, but I just love the focused like monthly overview so much. And I don't know, I think I just love focus in general. So but yeah, other than that, that is a little overview of the planners, my most recent planner haul. And that is gonna be it for this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, I will have updated planner flip throughs at the end of the month as per usual, as well as an updated planner stack so you can see everything that I'm using because I feel like I'm using a lot of new things. So yeah, other than that, that is gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Any recommendations, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.